All right, fellow YouTubers. Figured I'd make a little short video here. I haven't seen anything quite like this, but figuring a way to run off grid. We have a 2,000 watt continuous, 4,000 watt peak inverter. Yes, Harbor Freight got a hell of a deal. Paid 40 bucks for it. Right now, we have it at 11.93. Just going to the inverter. <clears throat> Don't have it. This is just the mock-up stage. From here, we have it to the battery. Battery to the charger, and right now we have it set. Well, for the focus, two amps. Two amps, twelve volts. Just a trickle charge. Extension cords here. Going up to the house, not hooked up. So, as you can see, it's over there. Now, the interesting part here's the cable, or where you plug in to the wall, or extension cord, whatever, so on and so forth. We have it into the inverter. So, the battery is running the inverter, inverter is running the battery charger. As you can see, extension cord here. Power level right now is at one bar. Everything's on at 12.03. I have one charger, two charger, my headlight, I did have my phone charging, and rips off. Now, watch this. As the voltage goes up, power level goes down. <clears throat> Self-contained, self-running, no solar panel, no wind. Like I said, it's a mock-up. I don't know if anybody's ever done this, but because what I've seen is either solar or wind power, charging the battery, and then from the battery the inverter, and then from the inverter out to the rest of your stuff. So this is actually, well, yeah, self-running, self-sustained charging system. Like I said no, no extension cord needed. Only thing you need to do is plug in the inverter. Negative, positive, same way going up to the inverter. To your voltage, keep an eye on it. I had three things charging. The rip saw was gone. Had phone charging. The most it's ever got is about the fourth bar up. And as of right now, it's not using anything. Power levels at a, as low as you can get, but I still have old chargers going. My hood light which I could turn on and still not pull enough just to show you that it still works first initial kick on the rips all yes it does draw but once it levels out it stays just a hair below half so it's just a trial and error until we 
figure a more permanent ordeal out. And we found out, don't go past 2 amps, 12 volts. Because if you go any higher, the voltage does drop. So at 2 amps, 12 volt low, keeps it at a sustained 12.6, 12.7. Even once you have a full load, it only drops down to 11.90. Or 11 volt, 11.9 volts, and that's rips all going. Three chargers, four charger, five chargers, light, two watt, two cordless batteries, and then my phone was gone. So one, two, three, four, yeah, four. Well, till I get a more permanent deal, it's just a mock-up. So hopefully, you enjoy and teach y'all so stay tuned